Hi, I'm Steve from Whiskey and Red. Let's build some cool shit. To add custom fonts to Elementor Pro, we're going to the Elementor menu, submenu custom fonts, we'll end up here, and we'll select add new up in the top left. We'll name our font for our demonstration, we're using the font Geist, and we'll select add font variation. So, to explain how these variations work, first, I'll start over on style, where we have normal versus our italic or oblique. Under weights, we have our font weights. This is the CSS values of 100, 200, etc., cetera, uh, that correspond to our different font weights. Generally speaking, we don't end up getting fonts when we download our font files uh, in these ways. We'll end up with files that look a lot like this. You'll end up with things that say black, bold, light, medium, etc. cetera. Uh, to correspond these, I have a link down below, just a nice table that Mozilla put together that just corresponds the rough values with the weight names. So 100 being thin, 600 semi-bold, 900 black. So my recommendation when uploading, of course, is to upload the number of files that you actually need to fit your design. We don't wanna upload all the different weights if we're not going to use them. It's just extra resources that your site needs to load. So for our demonstration here, we'll load the thin file, the normal file, and our heavy extra black file. To do so, we're going to add each variation into here. Now, when it comes to our font files, we want to, of course, upload as many as we possibly can to give ourselves as much support as possible. But of course, you're going to be limited by the font author and the amount of files that you have. So recommended is, of course, these top two, top three file types. And that's what we have for this demonstration. So to start our upload, I'll just select upload and I'll open up my file here. We want our woof file for our thin variation. So I'll go and select Geist Thin Woof, and we'll upload that file. Same thing for the Woof 2 file. Woof 2 Thin. And the same thing for the TTF file. So now we have our 100, which is our thin variation. And I'll go ahead and hit Publish. We can see this sentence here will update and display what our font actually looks like. Now we'll go ahead and add in our variation for our normal as well. So we'll click upload for our woof file. So our normal weight here is actually labeled as regular. So normal, AKA regular, AKA 400, we uploaded here. That's our woof variation. I'll even update this to say 400 just so I remember. And I'll upload my woof2 file, same thing, regular woof2, and our TTF file. We'll add our third variation here for our 900, our extra, extra black. Let's see what they call it here. They call it black heavy. Uh, I think in our font files, it's actually called extra black. So I'll go ahead and grab that as well. We're looking for our woof file, ultra black, not even extra black, ultra black. And there's our woof file, we'll do the same thing with the woof too. And our TTF file. Once our variations are put in, we'll hit update. And you can see our three different variations here displayed. So again, if you have other variations, you want to continue to add in all the variations that you have that you're going to use. Uh, same thing for our normal versus our italic or oblique. Now that our font variations are loaded in, let's go ahead and check the front end and make sure they're loading properly. So I'm going to go to a page editor here. I'm going to reload. Always make sure you reload. And we'll go select some text here under the style tab, right underneath custom fonts, right at the top is our new font Geist. And you can see here we have our different weights put in. So our ultra black, our normal, and our thin or 100. Perfect, let me know if you have any questions down below. Otherwise, have fun.
If you found this useful, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or ideas for other videos, let me know in the comments below.